All right. Welcome to another episode, another session of Free Education Friday. I'm Charles Noonan. I am your host for the Free Education Fridays. I'm the founder of the Land Bank team. Uh, where we have, where we serve individuals all over the United States with the best, fastest, safest, and most efficient way to make money in real estate. This Free Education Friday session, um, I'm going to share the, the presentation with you. For those of you that know what Free Education Friday is, welcome back. For those of you that are new, we got some house rules. The house rules are when I yell out auction alert, you have to put in a chat and you have to yell it out to wherever you are, auction alert, because I'm going to be giving you guys free auction information for you guys to be able to go to auctions and buy property. These are all land bank auctions. I'm going to send you to auctions where you can buy property for the super low. Today, I got something special for you guys. At the end, I'm going to offer you um, parts of my ground up development workbook. I'm going to offer you some ways to get some money so you can do the development because I've realized all the things that are in your way, <laughs> I, want to, I want to eliminate them. All right. So quick intro. Guys, just so you know, that is an actual land bank house right there. That's an actual land bank house that started from the bottom. Right disgusting, dilapidated, all the things that you guys are scared of to buy properties are wrong with that property. Everything you thought of to be wrong with the property is actually wrong with that property. And now it's turned into a beautiful two family property. Um, own this could only be done. I've only seen this done. And that's a $2,000 house that's turned into like a, the, the net value of $200,000 duplex only because this person knew about land banks and they had the information to get a land bank house. Okay. So let's get on, let's get on with it. Uh, I'm Charles founder of the land bank team. I lived born and raised in New York city. I'm a developer. I helped a, over a thousand people last year. This year I'm going for 1400. If I've helped you in any way, comment below. If I've helped you get a property in any way, shape or form, just comment below. I need to know who's watching these things, right? I need to know who's watching. Just comment, comment like how many properties you got. All right. Um, in 2024, I'm going for uh, 1,400. I'm going for 1,400 individual families to be impacted by the work that I do through buying land, um, selling it, buying land, renovating it. But I'm, I'm sorry, buying land, building on it buying land bank houses, renovating them. Some people are starting group homes with the information. Some people are renovating and renting out. There's a ton of things that people are doing with their properties. And I want to impact 1,400 people this year specifically. That's my target. All right. All right. So we're going to start it off right off the rat, right off the bat. Auction alert. So everybody just type in the chat, type in the comments, auction alert. I'm giving you guys auction information right away this week. Like, like we start, and I'm so excited for this one. We starting off, we starting off with auction information. So type in the comments, type right now, auction alert. I need to see the energy because I'm gonna share this auction information with you guys. All right, so where do we go? We went to California, we went to New York, we went to Syracuse, Houston. Um uh, I think we went somewhere in North Carolina. A lot of you guys were asking me last week. This week is from VA, right? This week is Hampton, Virginia. This is for the people, for, for, for everybody in Virginia. I love the state of Virginia. I appreciate the state of Virginia. I had some of my most um, memorable moments in my life in the state of Virginia. So today's auction alert, right? Today's auction alert is all about um, Virginia. So I want to give you guys an auction in Hampton, Virginia, where I, I, I'm going to show you guys the a property that's going to be auctioned off that's worth $40,000. It's a piece of land. I'll give you a house. I'll give you some house information too. I do your homework for you in this free education Fridays because I know some of y'all are busy. Put a fire in the chat, guys, if you are at a job. Put a fire in the chat right now if, if you're at a job, right? I know y'all can't do the homework all the time. Put a fire in the chat 
If you guys want to want to replace the income you make from a job through real estate, just put a fire in the chat. Let me know exactly who who's in the room. Put a fire in the chat if you could use an additional one hundred thousand dollars a year. Put a fire in the chat. I just want to know who's in the room. That's all I want to know. Who am I speaking to? Who's watching this? Who's learning? Who's showing up every free education Friday so they could get these val this valuable information? I see this. I see the chat going crazy, y'all. All right. So look, Hampton County, Hampton, Virginia. That's right. And look, I'm always going to give you guys enough time to go register for the auction. Now, these aren't land bank team auctions that me and my team go to. These are free education Friday auctions that I share with you guys, specifically those that tune into the land bank show on YouTube, those that listen to it on Spotify. And those that attend Free Education Friday every single week. Let's go. All right. So Hampton, Virginia, um, 5-23-24, right? That's May 23rd, 2024. The start time of the auction. And y'all know I'm going to give you everything you need to make this auction and go buy some properties, right? 5:23:24. The auction start time is at 11 a.m. and it's going to go until it's over. The auction is at the Rupert Sargent Building, 1 Franklin Street, Hampton, Virginia. I'm gonna tell y'all again, then I'm gonna give y'all my contact. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all again, then I'm gonna give you my contact. The auction date. Just put it in the chat. Put it in the chat, and I'm gonna show you what's at this auction. This auction is this auction is like. Top notch. I'm going to show you what's at the auction. All right. So Hampton, Virginia, 11 a.m., 523. I'm going to give you all the information. It's going to go until it's over. It's going to go until every single property is over. Okay. Until every single property is sold. All right. It's at the Rupert Sargent building. R-U-P-P-E-R-T-S-A-R-G-E-N-T -E -E building. 1 Franklin Street, Hampton, Virginia, 23669. Here is my contact at the auction. All right. I don't know who's doing I never see people giving up the actual contact information. When they give, they just give like right there and then they stop. But for you guys, here's, here's what I want to do. For everybody that's here, for everybody that's following, I appreciate you guys coming. So here's what I'm going to do. Call for your registration information. Call her as soon as y'all get off of this. Um, as soon as you finish watching this, call my girl, Molly Ward, M-O-L-L-Y, Molly Ward, W-A-R-D. Everybody just type her name in the chat, Molly Ward, M-O-L-L-Y, W-A-R-D. I'm going to give you her phone number, all right? I'm going to say it two times for y'all. I'm going to say Molly's phone number two times for y'all because I want y'all to have it. I want y'all to call her. I want y'all to ask every single question you have to ask. And then I'm going to take care of the rest. OK, let me give you Molly's phone number. Everybody get a pen and a paper ready. Let me know. Y'all ready to go? Y'all ready for her information? Y'all ready for her phone number? Just put it in the chat. Just say ready. Just say ready. If you're ready, put it in the chat. Just put type the word ready in the comments that you're ready. I need to know you guys are ready. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I see y'all I see y'all ready for it. So here we go, we got Molly Ward. Here's her phone number, 757-727-6374. I'm gonna say it one more time because I want y'all to understand it. I want y'all to have it. I want y'all to call her and say, hey, I'm coming to the auction, Molly. Don't worry about how I found out. She's going to say, well, how'd you find out? Hey, this is your time to say, don't worry about it, Molly. Give me the information. I'll be there. All right? So if, if y'all ever wanted to say, don't worry about it, sweetheart, this is your one time where she's going to say, oh, how'd you find out about the auction? You get to say, don't worry about it. All right? I'm going to say the number one more time, and then I'm going to get into the details of what's inside the auction because I, I did a lot of homework for you guys and I'm going to just share it out with you. All right. Her phone number, Molly Ward's phone number, 757-727-6374. Okay. We got 
right? 757-727-6374. That's the number. Um, that is the number to the person who's going to walk you through registration for the auction, okay? If you are watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on, um, on Instagram, on Free Education Friday, on the webinar, you, you, you guys get to see her information and you, you're one of those that were able to attend and you have the information. So here's the information. All right. Here, let me now. I did some homework for y'all. I did some homework for y'all. All right. Um, again. Again, auction alert. Look at what we have. Right. For this one particular property, I found three zero six Darby Avenue. 306 Darby Avenue is a house that's going up. It's a land bank house. It's a land bank house that's going up for auction. The value of this property is $137,000. I'm going to give y'all the whole address right now. Okay. 306 Darby Avenue, Hampton City, Virginia. Okay. The value of the property is one hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars. All right. That's one of the properties that's going to be auctioned off at this one particular auction. And the starting bid is zero. So they really just want the tax dollars that's old. They want um, if there's any blight tickets or anything that's old. So you guys get the opportunity to find out all that information. Give Molly a call. Let her know you're trying to buy some property. You're going to show up at the auction. If y'all want to show, if y'all action takers, I don't know if y'all just waiting for Free Education Friday to show up in your city or if y'all ready to go buy some properties like right now. But that's one of the properties, right? But here's what I want to share with y'all. Here's what I want to share with y'all today. These properties, right, that Molly has, I'm sorry, not Molly, these properties that the auction has, the houses, have you, have anybody ever wondered, and just respond yes or no, has anybody ever wondered, why aren't the people that go to the auction and buy these houses for two, these land bank houses for $2,000, $3,000, four, five, $6,000, why don't they have hundreds and hundreds of properties. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why right now. Traditional real estate says to buy like a two, three, four family house, go renovate it, um, rent out the top floor, the bottom floor, live in the third floor, whatever the case may be, live in the basement for some people. And they're telling you to renovate those properties take all the money out of the property, take all the equity out of those properties. Now you maxed out, you're not making any money and then go buy another one and repeat the process. The reason all of those Burr strategy, and that's what it's called, buy, renovate, refinance, repeat. The reason all those Burr strategy guys are pivoting to other asset classes in real estate and it's not working for them the reason why you saw all of them shift when Airbnb came out and now they crash, then they shift to something else and then now they crash and again. The problem is that strategy just doesn't work. That's the low end strategy of traditional real estate. It don't work. Those all those contractors, all those construction people, all the people you saw them the, the, like the super duper real estate guys that got tw 10 doors, 8 doors, 12 doors. Where are they now? Guys, put a fire in the chat if you've seen if you've seen a shift from people saying, "Oh, go buy all of these houses, um, reno renovate, rent, repeat, refinance." If put a fire in the chat if you've seen a, if you've seen those guys disappear or if you've checked on them lately and they're doing like car rentals or they're doing like some other form of something else. Just put a fire in the chat. Let me know if I'm not the only one that noticed. That traditional style of real estate just doesn't work. I stick to my one land bank strategy, right? And it's worked for me for years. I've been in real estate for 20 years and I'm doing the same exact strategy. I'm hundreds of properties in, in the same strategy. I don't pivot because it works. It pays me. I make tons of money in real estate through this one 
asset class of land bank properties. That is exactly where I make my money. It's no other, it's no other way how I make my money. So I want to share with you guys, we can no longer try to get $200 per door. You ain't going to get rich off of $200 per door. You not. And to be honest with you, when you pass those properties down, how much is $200 per door? It's going to take you 30 years to pay the mortgage off. You may refinance it again. By the time you pass it down, your grandsons or granddaughters are the ones that's probably going to benefit from it. Just being honest with you. That traditional um, strategy can no longer exist. And guys, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to tell you this question. How much is $200 a door going to be worth 25 years from now? So if you think you're buying this property for your grands, right, or for your son or future generations or generational wealth, please tell me how much is $200 going to be worth a month, 10 years from now? Just everybody put it in the chat. What will $200 do for your grandkids 20 years from now? Just put it in the chat. I'm going to just tell you right now, that ain't going to do nothing for my kids. That ain't going to do nothing. And they're not bougie high spenders, but $200 don't go far nowadays. It just don't get you nowhere nowadays. I'm not saying nowhere. It don't get you far. So we have to figure out a strategy that actually works. And I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to share with you my strategy. A lot of y'all said nothing, right? So just think, right? You can give your kids right now $200. They're going to look at you like, like it's not a, it's not huge anymore. It's not like the big whopping big deal anymore. Um, it's more like what you want me to do with it, right? It changed. Times have changed. The way we do real estate has changed. So the low end of real estate has been this birth strategy. Buy houses, renovate them, refinance, and rent them out. Land bank houses are super inexpensive. That strategy works to buy, renovate, and rent out. We never want to refinance a property. Under no circumstances do we ever want to refinance a land bank property. It just doesn't make sense. It, it, it's it's not it's counterproductive. When you buy them so low at two three thousand dollars, you never want to rent a, re, you never want to refinance those properties. It just doesn't work. It doesn't pay. It's not a right strategy. Now I'm gonna share with you guys today the highest end of real estate. Now guys, just do this for me. It's free education Friday. We gotta participate. Everybody, put in the chat. If you've been hearing a lot more about land lately, put in the chat, put a fire in the chat. If land is the new sexy thing lately, just put a fire in the chat. If you agree with me, put a fire in the chat. If you're starting to hear more about Bill Gates and the hundred um, plus acres that he has, Warren Buffett with the two, I think he got like, like over 300 acres of land right now. This guy's buying farmland. Guys, let me know. Put a fire in the comments. Is land the new sexy form of real estate? Like, like, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all are reading the same articles that I'm reading. Let me know if y'all are hearing the same articles that I'm hearing, right? I, I believe we all are starting to understand the highest end of real estate. You don't hear Warren Buffett talking about he's doing a renovation on the south side of such and such. You don't hear Warren Buffett talking about he's doing um, like buying um, 15 houses in a B-class neighborhood that he's going to put paint on, refinance, pull all the money out and then do it again. That's not Warren Buffett's strategy, is it? No one's ever heard Warren Buffett renovating a property, refinancing and pulling the equity out, Right. You want me to tell you why? It's low in real estate. High in real estate is in land. You're either going to buy the land. Um, he's buying it. for. He bought a lot of it and, 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 and sectioned some of it off of farms. He bought a lot of it to build on. And guys, the real money in real estate, <clears throat> or I'll say the real money in land bank properties, right, 
is to buy a land bank house because houses, there's a shortage of houses, we all know, it's to buy a land bank house, renovate it and rent it out. We all know if you gave your, your, your kids $1,500 a month, today, that's, <clears throat> that's a lot of money. Five years from now, it's going to be worth something. <clears throat> 10 years from now, if your kid is collecting $1,500, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, 10 years from now, if your kid is collecting $1,500 a month, it's still going to mean something. It still has tremendous value. It's very different from $200. The second piece for land, land bank properties, so houses and land. The second piece to land bank properties is buying land. Now, let me ask you guys this. Just by a show of hands, <clears throat> just by putting a fire in the chat, put a fire in the chat if it will be valuable for you to give your kids and grandkids land 10 years from now. Put a fire in the chat if it will hold value for you to give your kids and grandkids acres of land 15 years from now. Let me know if that has any value to you guys. Let me know if that makes sense to you guys. <clears throat> Does it make sense to give yours to buy land and give it to your kids 10 or 15 years from now. Just put a fire in the chat. Let me know. So here's what I did for you guys. Y'all know I, on Free Education Fridays, I'll be doing the homework for y'all, right? I do the homework for y'all. I do the homework for y'all. Here's a piece of land, right? The value of this piece of land is $40,000 that we're looking at. Here's the address to the land. I'm going to give y'all the address to the land. 2303 Lagarde Drive, Hampton, Hampton City, Virginia. This is at the same auction that Molly is. This property is being auctioned off at the same location that Molly is. But at the same time, we have to realize when we give our kids land, when we give our sons land, our daughters land, five years down the line, 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line, it has value, but we still not making money off of it. You can't give your kids land and they say, oh, I quit my job. I'm out of here. I'm just going I'm just going to live on the land and I ain't going to do nothing. No, it has to make money. Right. It has to. It has to cash flow. We got to cash flow the land. Right. We have to cash flow it. So here two things. For those of you that don't know, I'm explaining to you what land bank properties are and why they're so cheap, because some people here are new. I'm the land bank king. Right. I've purchased more land bank properties than anyone I, I ever came across. I'm over 434 land bank properties, all right? Land banks are public entities that are solely focused on converting problem properties into properties of productive use. There's 250 land banks across the United States. When you buy properties from land banks, they all come with clear title and are debt free. There are no liens and no delinquencies. The benefit to the city, right? And guys, you have to understand this. Why is the city selling these properties like this? The benefit to the city is that they get the property back on the tax roll. You must agree that if you buy a house, you got to renovate the house. And if you buy land, oftentimes they just want to know what's your plan to do with the land. Do you plan to develop it? Do you want to keep it as a community garden? Do you want to make it a, a doggy park? Whatever it is, you just have to tell them what you want to do. And then here's the best part of land bank properties. Here's why land bank properties, if anybody ever asks you, why are you going to this auction? Why are you buying these properties so cheap? Your answer is land bank properties are free and clear of any liens, debts, and encumbrances. Land banks have the unique powers to quiet title. So any liens on property of land bank properties when you purchase them, you start from zero. It doesn't matter who lived in the property before you. When you get the property, the property starts actually at zero. So that's why land bank properties are the number one asset class that anybody should be buying in real estate. So I know I said I got over 400, right? But here's just some, here's just some of these properties that I purchased. Let's, let's guys, just take a look at this. Four years ago, right? Five years ago, I'm sorry, I misquoted how long I've been doing this. This ain't even my first property. 
Five years ago, I bought this property, 13609 Cherry Lawn Avenue, $1,600. This is a screenshot of my land bank purchase. Today, that property is worth over $100,000. <clears> Here's <throat> another property, 5137 St. Clair. 5137 St. Clair. I purchased this property October 10th, 2020, four and a half years ago, right? Look how much I purchased the property for, $2,100. These are properties that you guys can actually go look up, look up the value, look up the pictures of the property. You can go to these properties if you guys are on the Midwest and actually see these properties. The value of this one, over $100,000. Four years ago, I purchased the property. It's over $100,000. And I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you something. You guys can't think about the money that it's going to cost to renovate. I have solutions for you if you don't have money to renovate, right? I'll give you guys the information to start to get help with credit and funding, right? And, and that, that information is free. It doesn't cost anything. I'll give you guys that information. But the money that I spent five years ago to renovate that house, I was going to spend it anyway. Tell me if that makes sense to y'all. So if you're thinking about money and you're thinking you don't have the money and you're thinking you don't have access to money, I didn't have anybody helping me with credit and funding. I didn't have anybody assisting me with a map on how to do this and how to navigate, right? I didn't have anybody to teach me this stuff. I'm here to help you guys navigate the credit and the funding piece so that you can get the money. But here's what's very important to understand. <clears throat> you are going to spend the money anyway. And if you don't believe me, right? If you don't believe me, just look to April 15th, look at your tax return over the last three years. That Those houses only cost me $22,000 to renovate and $26,000 to renovate. You guys have spent way more than that out of your own pockets. So look, we're going to spend the money anyway. I'm going to help you guys with credit and I'm going to help you guys with funding. And I put together a little bit more information just to show you guys. But here's my promise. When y'all look at y'all tax returns, y'all going to spend the money anyway. You might as well spend it on something that's going to bring you value, your kids value years down the line. It just doesn't make sense not to. Here's a, uh, a picture of when I took a small group to the auction. Um, I think it was in April and March. So this auction, I, I bought 13 properties from in one day. May 17th, I'm taking 200 individuals, 200 individuals that look like y'all, sound like y'all, and talk just like y'all, and a lot of y'all are on here right now watching. We're going to an auction. We're wearing these Buy the Block t-shirts, which you can find in the link in my bio, right? And we're going to an auction, and we're going to buy properties to the tune of $3 million. Everyone's going to own their properties individually. We're just owning them in the same area. All right. So when we talk about funding, right, two ways you can make money from land. And I want to share these two things with you. One, you can. I hate to say this, but but people do it for money and it happens a lot. You can sell your land. Right. So I'm going to teach you how to buy land for like two, three hundred dollars. I just showed you guys one of the auctions. We buy land two, three, four, five hundred dollars. And you can sell it. It's worth 10, 20, 30, 40. That, that piece of land I showed you guys is worth $40,000. You could sell it for $40,000. So that's one thing you can do with it. The second thing you can do with it is build on it. A couple of ways that I help people with property is you can put tiny homes on your land, these new sexy low container homes. You can do manufactured homes, which I really like because they're really inexpensive. And in warm climate areas, such as where I'm building, Birmingham, Alabama, you really don't need like the most insulated, hottest, warmest house because it's not coastal near like hurricanes and things like that. It's not in the north or the Midwest where it gets really, really cold. 
those are good markets. Like the South is good markets for manufactured homes. Manufactured homes on certain websites, which I'll share probably in next week, Free Education Friday, some of those homes start at like $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, right? Like they are super inexpensive. If anybody wanted to do ground up construction, so real estate is the number one asset class that I know, right? That the real estate itself, land bank properties are so much better in my opinion, right? Land bank properties are so much better in my opinion. What I want to share with you guys is for real long-term wealth, you're either going to buy land, the purpose of the purpose of it, right? And it takes four months to do this. The purpose of it is to cash flow. The purpose of the land is to cash flow. You can cash flow through ground up development. You can cash flow through seller financing opportunities. There's so many opportunities that you can cash flow land. It's ridiculous. Here's a, a here is an opportunity for you guys to get funding through a lender that I work with who will fund your first ground up uh, renovation. All right. Willing to fund your first ground up renovation. I'll tell you the tips and tricks on how you can get the ground up money. Right. There's obviously credit, um, zero interest credit cards. There's a number of ways where you get the down payment, but you only need um, 10 to 20 percent based on your experience. Guys, it's Free Education Friday. I got to educate y'all. Here's a tip. Do not let anybody tell you, do not let anybody tell you that because you don't have experience doing ground up construction that you can't do it. Do not let anybody tell you that because you don't have experience in ground up construction that you cannot do it. That is a lie. I'm going to give you two ways you can do it. I'm going to give you the two ways that you can get into ground up renovation because I'm giving y'all land. I might as well give y'all the way to make the money from the land. The first way you do it, right? You leverage the experience of your contractor. Your builder is the person who's going to build the property, right? Your builder is the person who's going to build the property. They have been building properties all year long. This year and last year, they've been building properties. So here's what you do. You leverage the experience of your builder. When they ask for an experience sheet, you're going to put your builder's experience on the application to get the money, to get approved, to get these low interest rate um, um, new construction loans. The second one is a super hack. I want y'all to share this. The second one is a super hack. I want y'all to share this. So I just told you where you get, I just told you where you guys can get money from, uh, where you can get land from at very ex inexpensive rates, right? I just told y'all where to get the money at very inexpensive rates. I'm introducing everybody on this call to the hack to, build, to, to getting into ground up construction, right? Here's the hack to getting into ground up construction where it started out as land, and now you have a property that will count towards your experience. Here's how you do it. Y'all ready? Put a fire in the chat if y'all ready for this hack. Put a fire in the chat. Let me see it in the comments if y'all are ready for this for this uh, this hack on how to get into new new construction with no experience. I'm telling y'all right now, you, no one's ever going to teach you anything like this. Put a fire in the chat if you're ready for the information how to get into real estate, ground up construction where the real money is for long term, right? With no experience. The way you do it, number one, you leverage the experience of your contractor. The way you do it, number two, and this is AI, not AI. They have drones, they have cameras, they have inspections. The way you do the second way to put, to get into experience into the experience column with ground up construction. I'm going to tell you guys right now, and I'm super excited. I absolutely love Free Education Friday. Guys, this is what y'all do. All you have to do is put any type of dwelling on a piece of land that you already own. They're going to look at the HUD sheet. 
the deed of the vacant land that you purchased. Then you can put a shed, a tiny home, a trailer, a manufactured home, any kind of home. And remember, I look, I do the homework on these. You can put the smallest type of living quarters on a home. They will use a drone, uh, Google AI, anything, uh, Google Street, whatever, to see a structure on the property. And now that actually qualifies as ground up construction. Whether you had to dig foundations or not, doesn't matter. Whether someone just came and dropped the house on, it was vacant land, vacant residential land. Now there's a living quarters there. That experience, those pictures qualify for ground up construction. Guys, when you call, right, and, and, and for though I'm going to offer an opportunity for you guys to actually execute on some of this stuff with me, right? I'm going to offer an opportunity to walk you guys through this strategy. I'm going to offer an opportunity for you guys to take advantage of this strategy with me. I know, Chris, I know, Crystal's going crazy. Y'all going crazy right now. Look, here's what I'm going to do. Let's let, just do your homework on that stuff. But here, I put this stuff in a workbook. That is a hack for the experience. That is, y'all know they put barriers in front of us to get into real estate. They put barriers in front of us to buy houses, right? They say you got to have a credit check. They say you got to have perfect credit. They say you got to have two years consistent on the job. Even if you got a better job that paid you more, they don't want to hear that. Oh, you was off for a month. It don't count. You start all over. Right. Uh, what else they say? Tax returns, two years tax returns. Um, they check your background. They check everything. Those are just barriers to getting into real estate. That's all it is. And now look at what they're doing. Guys, put a fire in the chat. If you've heard they're taking away real estate agents um, commissions, put a fire in the chat. If you've heard they're taking away real estate agents commissions. Now, is that a barrier? Is that saying, no, we don't want y'all selling houses anymore? Of course it is. Corporate America wants to buy all the single family homes to rent them out for themselves. We have the ability to build to build on real estate. Here's some ways. I just gave you two ways. I only gave you two. There's six. I gave you two ways to get around that um, new experience, that no experience hurdle. It's a reason we there's a reason, y'all. There's a reason. There's a reason we're not into developing. We're not into ground up construction. We think it's too hard. There's a reason we're not in a whole lot of industries. And the reason why is because they tell us all the hurdles and they make it seem so hard that we start to look other ways, right? If real estate agents can't make money, right? Who's going to sell the houses? Nobody. Who's going to buy them? Corporate America is going to buy them. That's who wants them. So they make it hard for us to get in and buy them. They make it hard for the realtors. Why are you going to go work a job where you can't make no commission? Why would you go be a sales agent or a salesperson for a company where you're not going to make any commission whatsoever, right? It just makes no sense. It makes no sense. So guys, for those that are interested in buying land at that auction, I, I put together a workbook on how to build ground up. It's super easy. I'm going to share with you at least the first part of it. And then through the offer I'm making at the end, which um, is our five day challenge, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to come and see me actually execute these steps. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the offer up while I read through this. So some of you guys um, can kind of like see the opportunity right in front of you. If anybody's interested in what and in, in, in just what I offered so far, I didn't walk through the, the particulars of the challenge. Comment the word property right now or just click the offer tab so you guys could take advantage. There's a challenge I'm doing. It's called passive to um, property to passive. So it's property to passive dot com. Somebody put that in the chat property to passive dot com. So if you guys want to buy tickets to that, you can. Today, we're really only doing platinum tickets because for anybody who block, buys a platinum ticket, I'm going to offer them a copy of my ground up construction workbook that I'm sharing with you guys right now. 
I'm gonna just share two things in it because we got more auction alert information. Some of y'all just here for the free information. Some of y'all here for no auctions in your local area. I'm gonna share another auction with y'all right now. But let me just show you how easy it is to build. You're gonna buy the land from the auctions that I'm taking you to, that I'm showing you every single Friday, right? You're gonna buy the land and then what you're gonna do from it, right? What you're gonna do with it, you're gonna hire a builder, but you gotta know what to tell the builder. You can't just be saying, hey, build a property for me. I don't know what's going on. This workbook will show you everything you need to build ground up, rent of, ground up construction with no experience and no money, right? I'm gonna give you everything right here in the book. So the first thing you do, they have to do site prep, move the dirt, flatten the surface, get the site ready. Mechanicals, electricals, and plumbing are called to do the underground work, getting the mini excavators and uh, digging trenches and things to run the underground conduits, transformers, and panels for bigger properties. Must be prepped beforehand to save time. So you have to level it. You dig your footing around it, right? Then step two, you pour the concrete slab, or you could do cinder blocks for the foundation. Frame the structure of the slab. You put in your rebar. Rebar holds the rigidity of the concrete. Once it settles, and guys, this stuff, the, this conversation, if you have it with an experienced builder, he's going to say, you know what the heck you're talking about. I know I can't cheat you on price. I got to do everything right with this person. And um, we're going to do square business just by having this conversation, right? Um, the electricians ground the slab with conductors. Temporary power and temporary utilities are brought in. So don't think about any of this stuff. Just know the utility company is going to bring a temporary pole so, so that the plumber, the electrician, and the builder has power to operate their tools, right? Um, temporary power so every trade has power to work on a construction site. City Power Company will inspect the temporary power utilities and the slab has to be dry and cured. So it just takes a couple of days or weeks to cure the concrete so it can dry so that it can hold the structure. That, guys, is the first two things you need to know to build ground up construction. It's super easy. But here's what I got to show y'all, right? I'm putting together a five-day challenge. And these are pictures of everybody who came with me to either a challenge, an auction, a deed day. Uh, we got 200 people going to the auction in Pennsylvania on 517. The, 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 it's sold out, right? It's sold out. We, we can't take any more people. So I put together another five-day challenge so I could show you guys exactly how... Um, I want to take you all to an auction and we have all the information already filled. We got all the information already plotted out. I want to take 500 people in this next five day challenge. I'm stopping at 500 because that will give me 1400 families impacted for the year. We want to make it so every single person has property. I want to make this challenge so that every single person, all 500 people actually have properties. Then we're going to go to an auction that has I'm right now, 900 properties. Each individual at this auction, if you are part of this five-day challenge, each individual at this particular auction I'm taking us to will be able to buy two properties. You can get a house or a piece of land. You can get two pieces of land, whatever it is. As long as you guys are part of the VIP, um, if you, as long as you guys purchase a platinum ticket, you get the opportunity to come with me to the auction personally. We're going to do all the homework and everything to prepare for an auction. Then we're going to hit the auction. We certainly selling out. Um, we buy in every available and affordable piece of land bank property that we can at this land bank auction. We already have the auction figured out. Um, it's picked out that we're going to go to and take advantage of the opportunities, right? Um I'm opening the five the five day challenge again because we do we're doing like tranches of 30 people per week. So we got in 30 last week. We got in 30 the week before when I first opened it. Today we're doing it for 30 people. If you comment the word property, you get the link to get to the auction only for today. Do not come to me tomorrow. Only for today. I'm going to give that how to develop workbook for free. Okay. 
I'm going to include, if you guys comment the word property or you click um, the offers tab, right? Right here on, on the webinar, you guys can click offer or comment the word property. Only for today will those that are in attendance receive the how to develop workbook that I just showed y'all the, the first and the second. If you're if if you got in last week, ah, I don't I don't I I, I got to talk to management to see if I can give it to you. We're doing a special today. The discounted prices are over. The discounted prices are over. I don't like discounts anyway because like nobody's teaching you how to develop. Nobody's taking us to properties. Nobody's taking us to ground up sites, introducing us to contractors developers, um, plumbers, where you can actually see and learn and understand how to build. So getting property is one thing, but learning how to develop it, understanding how to develop it is something totally different. Today, family, is Friday, April 19th. If you grab your ticket today, I'm going to say it again very slowly. If you grab your ticket today, you will get a copy of the how to build, how to develop from the ground up workbook from Charles Noonan. Today is it. Go in. I see a lot of you guys are buying the tickets. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, let's see. Um, Loretta, who got their ticket already? I see a lot of you guys got your tickets already. Yes. You guys will be able to go to an auction. We're organizing it. We're only taking 500. Uh, we're only taking 500 people. The folks that are in the challenge already, right, will, if you're platinum, will be able to purchase two pieces of property at this particular auction. Unfortunately, the, the one on 517, I can't, I can't allow you guys to purchase more than one. But this one particular challenge that we're doing is the Juneteenth challenge. It starts June 16th. I'm also throwing this in for you guys. For those of you that buy tickets today, I'm throwing this in. You guys will get the opportunity to have mentorship on weekly calls, okay? Mentorship on weekly calls every Monday until the challenge starts. What do I mean by that? Because we're doing ground up construction, right? Because we're teaching ground up construction, then I have to teach you guys for those that need money. Guys, put a fire in the chat if you need some money right now. Just put a fire in the chat if you need cash right now. I'm in a position I don't. Some of you guys do. Put a fire in the chat if you need money right now. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm also going to teach you guys how to buy land and quickly sell it. Uh, during the challenge. So I know some of y'all might need some cash. So during the chat, during the Monday meetings, right? If you don't get platinum, you can't ask no questions, by the way. If you don't get platinum, don't ask questions. Just come and look. All right. Don't even, you can, you can have a full conversation with somebody else because you won't be asking questions to me. If you're platinum, you get to ask questions. I'm going to teach you guys how to buy the property buy land and sell it for like residual income or sell it for cash. My strategy, y'all, buy low, sell low. It's that simple. It's that simple. Buy low, sell low. It's that simple. No one got rich off of one deal. It just never happened. I've never seen it happen. I've seen people get rich off of hundreds of deals, but not one. The strategy is to buy low and sell low. So I'm going to teach y'all that strategy so you can get cash. Some of y'all will be able to buy and sell before the... um before the challenge even starts so that when the challenge hits and we do go to the auction for Juneteenth, this is going to be a movement. When 500 people get together and go to the auction, you'll be able to afford two properties plus the money to build the ground up construction. I'm going to help you guys with that. You see, I gave you two things already that you're probably going to need that'll be, that will come in handy for you down the line to, to renovate. Now, I see a lot of you have tickets already. So, so you know what? For those of you that got your tickets already here, for those of where will the live auction happen at? Val Verleen, I'll give you that information. That is challenge information only. If you are in the challenge, you're privy to that information.
for those of you that are on a free education Friday, I'm not going to tell y'all where our auction is. That got 900 properties starting at four, five, six hundred dollars. I'm not telling platinum members will get access to it. We're actually in the middle of the side in between two to three. I'm trying to see if I want to do some more stuff in the north or should I do it in the south? Because there's also going to be a component where I add, where I, where I bring people to my ground up construction site, where as they're pouring concrete, you guys may be able to see that or doing the framing, the roofing. Um, I, I want, I want, I want to be the first person to open up a construction site to you guys. I want to be the first person where you can match up what you hear, what I say, what you see in the book to actual dirt to the property actually being built. I want you guys, when you have a conversation with somebody about, about building, I want you guys to be able to have a conversation from an experienced perspective, not from book knowledge. I don't want from book knowledge and for what you learned in the, on, on YouTube, what you learned on Instagram, what they say, YouTube University. I want us to really show up at maybe one of my construction sites and really learn and see it. There's school training, but everybody knows you really learned on the job. You really learned by doing it, right? You really learned by doing it. So for those of you that have tickets, right? For those of you that have tickets, um, for those of you that have tickets, I'm gonna give you the workbook. I'm going to give y'all the workbook, okay? I'm going to give y'all the workbook for those that have tickets. So Janzi, who's my um, executive assistant, everybody that requests a workbook or everybody that registered, we're going to give them a copy of the Ground Up Construction Workbook today. This video will probably hit tomorrow. We'll make it hit tomorrow. From Monday, you will not send out the workbook to anyone else. You will not send out the workbook to anyone else. All right. Now, let's take any questions. Does anybody have any questions pertaining to this five day challenge? Does anybody have any questions pertaining to the five day challenge? Somebody said they went to a whole school, got a full education, has never been to a construction site. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Forget that stuff, man. Some of the traditional some of the traditional stuff just doesn't work anymore. Like it just doesn't work anymore. You can't go to school and learn like hands-on tactics and techniques. What they taught in the school, if the curriculum is not updated, that buy, renovate, refinance, repeat strategy is gone. You'll be broke. You'll be broke. There's not that you won't have it. You won't know what to do because your money is going to be gone. You're going to be up to here with bills. They tell you to take all the money out. You're strapped. If, if one tenant don't pay the bill, you're going to pay it. And I hope you're not getting it in an expensive neighborhood because now you got to pay that $2,500 or $3,500 or $4,500 rent out of your pocket. Are y'all going to pay it? No. Because now, now, you, now your family is looking at you. Like, all right, you took a risk. You spent $79,000 of our money. Now they're sitting there like this. Let me see you work. Where's the return at? Where's the money at, huh? Oh, your tenant didn't pay. You think you're going to come back into our savings and take more money out to make the mortgage? No, not happening. So what does the person do, right? What do they look like to their family when they're losing properties? I know it's real. It's real to lose a property. I know it's a real thing to lose a property. What does that look like? Now, what does it look like when you tell your kids, hey, I got you three pieces of property for your future? Or pay for them already. Hey, I got you four pieces of property. Hey, auntie, I got you two, three pieces of property you used to take care of me when I was a kid. What does that feel? What, what does that make the person feel like? If you've ever gifted a property, if you've ever gifted a piece of land or a property, just somebody put in the chat and tell me what that feels like. Just tell me, what does it feel like? 
Tell me the significance you feel in that person's life when you gave somebody a property. Somebody put it in the chat. Keisha R. Yes, you got you got you bought your ticket. You in there? You bought your ticket. You in there? I got you, Keisha R. I got you, Keisha R. You you good? You're good. Let me put this in here. Let me put the the, the link in. Here's the link, guys, so you can buy a ticket. Will you take Charles? Will take you to a construction site. Uh, appreciate it, Jan. That's for high level. That's for the high level folks. We'll go over that. We'll go over that. Keisha, you on our list? Awesome, Keisha. You in there? You in there, Keisha? Will the auction date be within the five day challenge for June? No, the challenge is Juneteenth. Our auction is probably going to be in July because I got to teach everybody everything. Got it on my phone. I'm good now. Okay, Crystal. Um, Keisha, yep, got you. Got you. With a live auction. Nope. Trying to find out. That's the dream. Buy one day. Best believe. Yes, 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 yes. All right, here we go. It's right here. It's right here. The person said when they gave the property away, the person said they will love them forever and they are the best relative they've ever had, right? So giving your kids a, a, a house that's already refinanced and got no money left in it, that's not the move anymore. You got to give them something that got value already. You got to give them something with some equity. You got to give them something that's going to be cash flowing, that's zero risk. So if you give your kids some a property that's already paid for, right? Let's just say I gave one of my kids one of those properties that I bought five years ago, I spent $26,000, $22,000 to renovate it. That money is spent. There's no more money coming out of my pocket anymore. I took the risk already. It was the safest and least risk that I've ever taken in real estate. And trust me, God, I owned a ton of New York City real estate. I owned a ton of it. All right. So we want to get you that feeling of love, appreciation, wealth, passive income, generational wealth. Right. That's where we want to get you guys. Um, here's the link again to purchase a ticket, right? It's property to passive.com because we got to get to the passive income. We can't do it without passive income. There's, there's growth in acquisition, but from a wealth perspective, the growth is in the income is when we cash flow it. All right. So guys, there's a couple more tickets left. Comment the word property, click on the link right there, grab your ticket, grab a platinum ticket. Platinum is going to be Filled with a ton of stuff, um, private platinum, private community credit and funding, exclusive telegram, recordings, ask questions during the exclusive platinum session. Only. Every single week that we speak, whether it's me, one of my bankers, I might bring the VP. Oh, I might bring the VP of American Express to the challenge, by the way. If y'all are on the fence, I may bring the VP. Um, of American Express to the challenge on Friday. I'm sorry, to the challenge, to the Juneteenth challenge. I don't know if any of you guys have ever met the VP of American Express. I don't know if y'all ever got an American Express card. I know a lot of y'all got turned down for an American Express card. But if y'all want to meet the VP of American Express, I'm probably going to bring them to the challenge. We're going to the fight tomorrow at the Barclays Center. Um, but you guys will have access to people like that. So, um, Q&A, right? For all my Platinum members, y'all get an opportunity to have Q&A right after the call, right after the call. So after the call, after we teach, we're going to sit with you guys for another hour and give you guys answers to anything you might have. Some of y'all might get the workbook and have some questions right then and there, right? Some people may get the workbook and have questions. You got me. I'm going to answer all those questions for you. So look, guys, it's the end of our session. Oh, I went over some lunch hours. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Look, free education Friday next week. We only go until till, till, till 1250. I didn't realize it went over because I got so many questions. 